Hi there and welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this video on Botox. This is an in-depth video that will cover everything you need to know. What is Botox? How do you use it? What are possible side effects or dangers? And also what are all the indications wherefore you can use Botox? We'll cover that and many more in this video. Also, I made a shorter, more to the point video that might be more suitable for you. You can find the link to that video in the description. Also, if you're meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul. I'm a final year medical student and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you. So don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Before we start, this video is meant purely informational. This is not medical advice. And if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. Now, to the slides. Welcome to the slides. First of all, the generic name is Botulinium toxin A. It's known under the brand names Botox, Xeomin, Dysport, Azalur, Bocature and Meal Block. And on all these brands, it's only available as injections. Then, what are the indications to use botulinium? It can be used in several neurological disorders, among which hemifacial spasm, cervical dystonia, focal spasticity, and chronic migraine. It can also be used in bladder disorders, for example, idiopathic overactive bladders, urinary incontinence in adults, and neurogenic bladders. And lastly, it can be used in skin-related disorders, for example, a bilateral hypohidrosis. But most famously, Botox is used for cosmetic usage. It can be used to temporarily improve your appearance, mostly by decreasing your wrinkles. It can be used in the lines of your upper part of your face, the lines your nose make or the lines your lips make. It can also be used in the vertical wrinkles between your eyebrows, those are located here and they are called the glazed bale lines. It can also be used in the lateral pre-orbital lines, called the crow feet, and it can be used in the horizontal forehead lines. As seen in these pictures, all wrinkles can be divided in four stages, from zero upwards to four. Zero meaning you have no wrinkles at all, four meaning the most severe wrinkles there are. By the use of Botox, you can decrease your wrinkle stage by one or two. So if you have stage four wrinkles, you can become a stage three or maybe even a stage two, but you will never become a stage zero. So that's important to note. When you use Botox, within seven days, you can see the effects. The maximum effect will be reached within approximately 30 days and it will last up to three to four months. So it can be a little bit faster, but it can also last a little longer. Then, how does it work? What is the mechanism of action? First of all, Botox is a peripheral acting muscle relaxant. This means it binds at the presynaptic membranes of the neurons and it inhibits the release of acetylcholine. It does this by splitting a protein called SNAP25. SNAP25 is involved in the storage and the release of acetylcholine in presynaptic membranes and by splitting SNAP25 this leads indirectly to an inhibition of the muscular stimulus transfer. So this leads to temporal local muscle paralysis with reversible atrophy. Recovery takes three to four months because the nerve endings need to grow again and need to connect with the postsynaptic motor end plate. And this can take three to four months. Additional effects botulinum has is that it decreases release of neurotransmitters involved in pain sensation and it decreases the onset of pain. In addition, it also inhibits neurogenic inflammation. Then some advice regarding the quantities of units. Each dose is specific to each product and differs from brand to brand. Therefore, if you would interchange it, this can have serious consequences because you would maybe overdose or underdose. Also, when injecting botulinum, always do so under the control of electromyography. Then how to use Botox. Always choose a doctor with a lot of experience in injecting Botox. And always do so under the control of electromyography. Then, within one to two weeks, you will see effect. The maximum effect will be reached within two to four weeks, depending on the indication and the dose used. And it will last upwards to four to seven weeks, again, depending on the indication. Regarding safety, it's not safe to drive while using botulinum when you experience side effects like blurred vision, dizziness, sleepiness, muscle weakness or body weakness. If you're not experiencing any of these side effects, it's perfectly safe to drive. There are no restrictions for the combination of Botox and alcohol or Botox and food. 
Regarding dosage, you need to know that units are not internationally recognized and that they can change among countries and even among brands. And also they will have a variable effectiveness, so therefore always check the brand you're using. Choose a doctor with enough experience in injecting Botox and always start with the lowest possible effective dose. And by titration you can increase the dose to the optimum strength. Always aspirate before you inject, this way you prevent an intravenous injection of botulinum. And if you have multiple indications for the use of Botox, the maximum cumulative dose needs to be under 400 units every 12 weeks. So that's important. The use of Botox can have many side effects, but those side effects depend on the muscle group where the Botox is injected. Therefore, I added a list with the chance on side effects depending on the indication. So, if you use Botox for blepharospasm, spasm, you have a 35% chance on side effects. If you use it for hemifacial spasm, you also have a 35% chance on side effects, and so on. You can pause this slide to check the percentages. Here I added a list with all the side effects you can have. I will not read them all out loud, feel free to pause the video, check them out in more detail, I will just name a few of them. Very commonly, we see viral infections, ear infections, urinary tract infections. Commonly, we see respiratory tract infections, dizziness, drowsiness, and then headache. Uncommonly, we see depression, insomnia, amnesia. Rarely, we see allergic reactions or narrow chamber glaucoma. And very rarely, we see corneal ulceration. Botox can have interactions with other medications, which will increase the effects of Botox. When combined with aminoglycoside antibiotics, lithium salts, choline esterase inhibitors or tubocerin-like muscle relaxants, those will increase the effects of Botox. The effects of Botox in pregnancy as well as lactation, which is breastfeeding, are unknown, but it's advised not to use Botox while pregnant or while breastfeeding because it might harm the child. There are some contraindications for the use of Botox, which are muscle diseases like myasthenia gravis or ALS. Those are bladder disorders like urinary tract infections at the time of treatment, as well as acute urinary retention without routine recatheterization, And lastly, an infection at the injection place. Then some warnings, be careful with the use of Botox in elderly, be careful with an injection at lung tissue. Be careful when there is inflammation at the injection site. Be careful in persons with bleeding disorders. Be careful when there is increased weakness or atrophy of the target muscle. And lastly, be careful when the patient has swallowing or breathing problems. This was my in-depth video on the use of Botox. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. And if you're looking for more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and as always, see you next time. Bye bye.